Well, News 12 has learned of yet another sensational twist in the ongoing saga involving the late serial killer Robert Durst. The Turn to Terror team uncovering evidence that the star prosecutor who convicted the New York real estate heir took a free vacation at a Long Island mansion owned by Durst's wife just months after the trial, a trip that is now coming under the microscope. Our senior reporter Tara Rosenblum has the exclusive details. Back in 2021, Los Angeles Deputy District Attorney John Lewin did what no other prosecutor in New York or Texas could. Guilty of a crime. Convince a jury to unanimously find the scandalized New York real estate scion Robert Durst guilty of murder. The high profile conviction instantly turned Lewin into a household name. I was the lead prosecutor on the case. There were TV show cameos, podcasts, and even luxury stays in the Hamptons. The Turn to Tara team has learned that just a few months after Durst was found guilty and subsequently died in prison, Lewin had a sleepover at this beachfront mansion estimated at $17 million, owned by none other than Robert Durst's widow, Deborah Sheridan. Has John Lewin ever been to your house in Bridgehampton? Yes. In this videotaped deposition obtained exclusively by News 12, Sheridan was questioned last fall about the nature of Lewin's stay at our pricey Long Island estate. Did he sleep over? He did. Was anyone else there? No. Were you there? Yes. A few months later, under oath for a wrongful death suit brought by Durst's first wife, Lewin is also asked to explain the overnight encounter. Did I spend the night at So my daughter and I, on a vacation to New York City, made arrangements. Bob Durst was long dead. Only Durst wasn't long dead. He died in January 2022, just a few months before Lewin vacationed at his widow's mansion. My daughter and I had a lovely, I think we spent not one night, if I recall, I think it was two, two nights there. I can't remember for sure. It's nothing that is in any way unethical. But not everyone agrees. In my mind, this does not pass the smell test. It just strikes me as so foolish. Peace law professor and former Manhattan prosecutor Bennett Gershman said Lewin's Hamptons excursion has the potential to not only complicate the legal battle over Durst's estate, but also Lewin's own standing at the DA's office. You know, prosecutors shouldn't be in a situation where their judgment, their conduct may be called into question. He made a, a, a terrible mistake uh, in terms of judgment and uh, are there going to be any consequences? We reached out to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office to find out, and all they would tell us was they were aware of the allegation but couldn't comment further on personnel matters or pending investigations. Tara Rosenblum, News 12. And to catch up on Tara's coverage of the Robert Durst saga, head on over to the feature section of News12.com and click on the Turn to Tara tab.